So here's an interesting living in variant where it's living in and scape shift. It's a lot like, I remember a long time ago, like a couple years ago maybe, some people were trying to combine um, twin with living in, like living twin or whatever they called it. But uh, it does give a, um, it's called, uh, so it's not so linear, you know, little outs. So anyways, I keep the hand because I do have bridge and strings and spyglass, things are good. Now what I probably, I should have known off the bat what they were playing just because they played an untapped land and did not cast anything on turn one. <clears throat> but just in case I, you know, spyglass. And um, so I see their hand, and I see that they only have one other land in their hand. I'm like, man, if I can hold them off of as many lands as possible until I can land this bridge, I might be okay. So the alternative route, what probably would have been better is if I had named Desert Suradon. That might have actually won me the game if I'd done that instead because then that would have, might have bought me time to land a bridge. And instead, I name um, the Valley Rennet or whatever. Opponent doesn't realize that I can stop cycling with that, and they're like, this card is inactivate. Yeah, yeah, cycling is. But yeah, I probably should have named that instead. Uh, but assuming they made the best play, they should have cycled that in response anyways. <clears throat> so trying to find a land for the bridge. Um, did I? I did not. I figured that I had enough time, actually. And yeah, honestly, I really should have gotten a land. So again, I make a misplay here. If I had gotten a land instead, then uh, yeah, just play bridge. I wouldn't have died to it, and then I can were for um, uh, orb, and I'd be okay. Then they were ha they would have to resort to beast within, which I don't even know if they have it because of they have to make room for escape shift. So again, I punt. Yeah, so they go off Living End, get their dudes, put me at 4, is it 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, yeah. So I'm about to die to Scape Shift. Uh, I go for the mill, I try to draw an extra card, still don't get one, mill, but now I get an uh, Opal, which is great. So play the bridge, and I play this on zero, so they can't attack me. So now they have to scape shift for the win. Unfortunately, I do not have a third blue mana for the. Uh... For the uh, were so I need to mill into a third blue mana if I can. And uh, but it's too late because they have scape shift. And uh, so they said good game. I'm like, all right, well, let's see the, the lands. And they do have lands. I'm like, oh, okay, good game. So I figure, okay, post board. Uh, but opponent decides to quit instead. Oh, well. So in this one, I probably could have won if I had played correctly.